Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow was an excellent follow-up to Aria of Sorrow. Having the same protagonist, Soma Cruz, and the same mechanics, it even followed up on the same story. As Soma rejected becoming a reincarnation of Dracula, so the same cult from Aria of Sorrow decided to find some other people that might be able to take the throne of Dracula. And worldwide, they only found two other guys. Apparently, both of them were born the same time as Soma, and therefore have a connection to Dracula. They don't have the same powers or anything, as Soma is kind of like Kirby if he could keep all the powers he absorbs. The two guys instead have different powers. Dario is basically the Human Torch, and the other guy, Dimitri, has a less good version of Soma's power, in that he can just sort of imitate various powers that he sees. But that's fine, I guess we can use the logic of each of these guys got just a little piece of Dracula's power. But I bring all this up because I find it odd that worldwide there are only three potential candidates to potentially be the reincarnation of Dracula. The general idea is that all three of these guys were born the instant Dracula was defeated in 1999. Because even if we're going to the exact second, according to Google, there are 4.3 children born in the average second. So that means there should be at least one more candidate floating around out there somewhere. And I'm not even clear if it would really need to be in that exact second. Potentially, there could be dozens of other candidates just hanging out somewhere that this cult just hasn't found yet. And what exactly are we using for the definition of Dracula's death? As technically speaking, he's a vampire, so he's kind of already dead. Are we going by brain death, perhaps? Was there an EKG hooked up to Dracula? so we know that exact second his brain shut off? Or is it perhaps the moment the wooden stake went into his heart that we're counting as his death? As I know in some vampire movies at least, sometimes the vampire can have quite a death scene even after that stake has gone into the heart. There was a memorable scene in a movie where Paul Rubens was a vampire, and he had quite a death scene once the stake got put in his heart. But three just seems kinda low for potential reincarnations of Dracula. If anything, since the game does refer to him as the Dark Lord, shouldn't it have been a number that has some symbolic significance? Like 6 or 13, perhaps? Well, maybe we'll see some more candidates if they ever decide to go further into the future and extend the timeline of the original Castlevania series. Please do subscribe, comment, like, and tell your friends.